If you could have one Bollywood actor give you oral pleasure, who would it be? I'm married. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, welcome back to our stupid directors of Corbin. I'm Rick. Let us know down in the comments below who you'd want to give you oral pleasure. Uh, give to <laughs> or give to. Yes. That's those are two very very different things. Caring is sharing. Wait. Yeah. Share. Yes. The same thing. Uh, today because got... that's a totally different story. No. Oh yes. Today I wouldn't necessarily pick the same person that I would want to have that do that to me versus who I would want to do that to. <laughs> but uh, today we got a... And let's admit it, you know our answer, both are Runveer. Uh, actually, mine's Magumbo. <laughs> and have him say, Magumbo Kushma. <laughs> I don't know. Yes! I don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, today we got an interview from S.H. Rajamuli. Who? This was uh, two weeks ago. This is uh, him talking about his larger-than-life filmography. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> and this is actually a tiff. Uh, original. Interesting. So, from obviously the, the um, uh, awesome um, film festival TIFF, a very big one. And I don't know if you know about this, you probably do if you're paying attention to anything that's going on in the world of RRR. There's going to be a massive screening at the Chinese theater on Monday, uh, on Monday with it's Sir and Ram Charan and Junior NTR. Junior NTR. And how fast did the thousand seats get sold out? 98 seconds. In 98 seconds. I did not get them, unfortunately. No, we tried. Uh, I wanted to, but I... Uh, 98 seconds, all 1,000 seats were sold out. Uh, almost a year after the film came out. Yep. At the, Holly, at the Man's Chinese Theater. In IMAX. In IMAX, in Hollywood. Each, I think each ticket was 30 bucks. <laughs> That's the fury and just pandemonium over this film. India is about Still. to... Still. India is about to get its first Oscar. Yep. Not Without just question. nominated. No, they're going to win it. If not well, when Natu Natu is nominated, it will win. I, and I'd pet that I'd, Oscar I'd, performance will go down as one of the greatest moments in Oscars history. Yeah, I hope there's more nominations. Predicting it than, already. I hope there's more nominations. Than I do that, too. But. You know, it would be a. St I, I would lose my mind if they give Raj Muli a nod for director. Yeah, I'd lose my mind. All right, here we go. Step onto the onto the set and when I see all the people going around doing their job and when I hear the sound of the generators turn on that gives me jitters <laughs> you know even though everything is well planned even though everyone knows what to do even though I know how to go forward still there is there's this kind of fear momentary fear that whether I, whether I can carry this whole thing or not but that that's only for a few moments, and once the first shot starts rolling, I, I forget everything and just go into it. That moment, man. Action usually uh, comprises of a fight or or a physical strain to achieve achieve something. So, what is the emotion that is driving? that person or the situation and whether that emotion is being carried by the audiences by that point or not that is the most important thing if that is not present in the in the story however spectacular your action sequence can uh, might be it wouldn't have the same impact uh, the audiences won't remember that action sequence for a long time as I keep shooting, I I imagine certain certain kind of music. Not certain kind of music, but I imagine the beats, uh, where the music is going to be played, uh, at which part of the sequence will it be silent, uh, and which part will it reach a crescendo, where, where will it slow down. That, that, that beats I will be playing in my mind, there are a few times where I ask my uh, composer to, to compose the music 
uh, the background music for the for the sequence beforehand, and sometimes I play it on the sets mm. uh, uh, to get the uh, exact beats right. I don't know if there is a particular name for that genre, but that are the kind of stories that I like. Stories that 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 uh, that have emotional bonding definitely, and which has the capacity, inherent quality in the story where it can spring yes! surprises, giving a shock value uh, to the audience, but never leaving the emotional uh, bondage. Of Karna Bhai. All my life, I. I imagine my sensibilities wouldn't appeal to the Western audiences. My uh, mm. my sensibilities are different. It is for only for the Indian audiences, or maybe to the Eastern audiences, but never to the Western audiences. So then, RRR, I did no different with RRR. It's the same kind of filmmaking I did with my earlier films too. Uh, so when it started uh, resonating with the Western audiences, obviously it feels great. Uh, uh, I need to understand, but I also, but I definitely know one one thing that I can't change my way of uh, Heck no. storytelling. Don't I, you dare! I have to fine tune myself. I have to be better, uh, better filmmaker than what I am. But I can't change the entire way of, uh, of filmmaking. But yeah, uh, it feels great to have a new audiences. It is bigger. It is definitely more over the, the top, and it is more colorful, uh, and that's the way we like it. That's how we grew up uh, watching. That is how we uh, grew up making. That's what we give to the audiences, and and I definitely feel it is better. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I was. We were able to make that screening. I know. And I, actually, I have no doubt this is not going to be the last screening. I maybe with Junior and Tr and, and Ram Charan because that's a big deal that the those two stars are <laughs> coming here. Yeah. But I SS has done lots of screenings yeah. within the past lots few months, of promoting. including of like Ega. Even I think they had a there was a RR Ega back to back feature, nice. which would have been awesome. But uh, since the Oscars are still two months away at minimum, right? Yeah. I think it won't be the last screening. No. Um, but to do it with that audience that I know is going to be losing their ever-loving mind because Junior and TR and Ram Charan are there. I, and I had friends that also were waiting in line that are white friends of mine uh, as well, but they also didn't get tickets because they went sold out in 98 seconds. Yeah. Um, but, man, I, I, it's, it's so exciting. And I think one of the reasons RR worked so well is not because he changed his style of filmmaking. I think it's still a big, massy film. Of course, film. no. Um, but I think one of the things that helped, I mean, I do think it's his best work. I do. The, at least that I've seen. I've, what we've seen. Obviously, we've seen very little of his work so far. Um, but the fact that the Western audiences did not have to look past any bad CGI. Correct. Uh, That's critical. Yes, and uh, or like any like bad acting or outside of the white. I mean, I guess they did for the white actors. Yeah. Um, but the luckily they weren't driving the story. No, really it's at very all. when you have so much going well, that was forgivable. Um, but the fact that all those things were working, I think any audience can like any film as uh, if it's a good fun story. Yeah. But the fact that because Bahubali, like I think a lot of Indians are like shocked that Bahubali didn't work like RR worked here. There's a lot of CGI stuff in Bahubali that you'd have to ask Western audience. Even though I know there's a lot of Western audience that love Bahubali as well, that one you have to look past a little more stuff. Correct. Uh, and it's a very it's even even more Indian story than this than RR was as well. Right. Uh, since it's old. Correct. Uh, kind of stuff like that. Um, but I. His, I like the fact that he said, I can't, like, even though I'm having a lot of success, probably more success than any Indian film director has ever had in the West, mm -hmm. um, I can't change my filmmaking. No, and that's what I love. I love that he did not set out with the goal in mind of making a film that would be appealing to the West. He just went and made a movie the way he makes a movie. Mm -hmm. And it 
had success as an organic extension of just who he is and what he does. Mm -hmm. The last thing in the world he should do is change what he's doing mm -hmm. because he, he's not himself. And the reason this movie is as good as it is is because it's coming from him as well as the score, mm -hmm. his team. Mm -hmm. And you can't take away any of the credit and the power of this film being what it is due to the performances and the chemistry of Junior NTR and Ram Charan. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason this is, in my opinion, the greatest buddy film I've ever seen in my life is because those guys are who they are and give what they give to this film. Absolutely. Uh, just, no one else could or should be in those roles. I agree. They're perfect. Uh, that was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I would love to <laughs> love to be able to talk to the man. Uh, it'd be great. I hope we'll be able to see RR in theaters like one more time yeah maybe for i don't think it'll be nominated for any sags which is sad because if it if it, it can't if, yeah but if it if it was it'd be cool because obviously they'd have in-person screens yeah. and, and it, it'd be really fun the reason it can't so it could get nominated for globes baftas and oscars it can't get nominated for sags because sag two reasons one sag is only for acting it's actors celebrating the work of actors and you have to be members of the screen actors guild yeah, to be qualifiable. So your, your and, film needs to be a Screen Actors Guild right. production. And th I'm sure all of these guys are connected to SAG, but the production itself, I don't think, had a one world possibility for it to, you know, there's contracts you can do where you make a film. I don't think there were any SAG actors, quote unquote, and this was not under SAG jurisdiction. So it doesn't qualify for the SAG awards for acting. But I yeah. agree. It'd it it cool. would have been interesting to see. Because they would have had this in-person screening. Yeah. So probably uh, S.S. Roger would have been there. Globes are next week. So that's the first yeah. inclination, uh, maybe kind of, sort of, because the Globes are their when own. Are the nominations own for Oscars world. 21st? Yeah, nominations for the Globe, for the Oscars are in two weeks. I believe we'll be do we will be doing a live. That'll be perfect for you guys, because it's going to fall right around 6.30 p.m. Yeah. For us, it's, as it always is, it's five in the morning. Five in the morning. Yeah. But this is a big one. Because you not only have RRR's nominations, you also have p the possibility of of the the what is it called foreign film? Oh, the last film show. Last film show. Yes. And this is two we haven't seen a documentary. Yes. And I believe a, sh a short. Short. Yes. Or something like that. I think so. So India has a lot of possibilities to get nominations this year. Aside from the fact that I mean, it's just I've I have watched the nominations every morning since I was a kid. Yeah. It's 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 the Super Bowl of everything. So I'm but I've always gotten I have especially this year. other excitements in my heart that I'm hoping get nods from the other films that are part of the conversation. Um, from I mean it's a no brainer that All Quiet on the Western Front's going to get no yeah. nominated. But I'm hoping Bardo. I think it's a no brainer that Guillermo's Pinocchio is going to get nominated. I've yet to see the whale. Have you seen the whale yet? Not yet. I'm waiting that, for my screener. That, yeah, that I, I'm so excited because I know it's going to be between him. It's going to be between Brendan Fraser and Austin Butler, probably. I can tell you, Brendan Fraser is going to win the Oscar. I will bet you money right now yeah. without seeing it. Without even seeing it, because not only I've heard his performance is good, but he's getting the sympathy vote. Yeah, you think that's going to also happen? For I always forget how to pronounce his name. Everything, everywhere, all at once. He's was Indiana Jones. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I forget. I think he's going to get supporting actor for the same reason. No, he's he's nominated. He's getting not. He's going to get nominated everywhere. It, it's a different reason. One, Brendan Fraser, from what I hear, is a one of the best is, performers. Is of the brilliant. Year. But also, it's a comeback story, and also a comeback from a really traumatic thing traumatic. that happened yeah. to him. I, so I think a lot of people. Gonna, not only is it good enough, probably I haven't seen it. I don't know. So it might not be good enough for me. I don't know because I've never thought. <laughs> I, I said it yesterday. I was like, I can't believe Brendan Fraser is about to win an Oscar because I've always thought he's like the worst actor. Yeah, and I think Hollywood. I told you he he plays a very significant role in the miniseries, an older series called The Affair. Mm -hmm. And when we watched that, he plays an he plays a mind screwing cop. And I I repeatedly was turning to Indrani watching it, saying I had no idea Brendan could act like that. Yeah, he's really really good in The Affair. Um, so we'll see. So anyway, but RR is going to get some nominations. If it doesn't. We're going to set things on Everything. fire. Everything. We're going to go down and set. We'll the go burn the academy down. Exactly. <laughs>